Who might um, qualify to have, say, power of attorney, and does it ever come up where someone might change from one person to another to be in charge? Yeah, I mean, we, uh, we run into those situations a lot. You can have anyone that you feel confident in, you know, you trust to be your power of attorney holder. Um, and you may change your mind from time to time. It happens, you know, you may, or it may just be that they move across the country. And so, you know, I, I need somebody who's a little bit closer to me. And so it is something that needs to be looked at regularly and updated from time to time to make sure that it doesn't need anything. You know, um, I keep wanting to call you Aubrey, Daniel. <laughs> so you Aubrey Jr. Yeah, yeah. Daniel, um, a lot of people have misconceptions about power of attorneys. In other words, is there just one power of attorney that suits all, or do you have to have a power of attorney that addresses the particular needs of the individual? So there are usually uh, at least two different types of power of attorneys that we deal with. Uh, you've got a financial, durable, property management power of attorney, and then you've got an advanced health directive of some sort. Different mm -hmm. states call it different things. One makes health decision, one makes, you know, real estate or bank account decisions, kind mm -hmm. of two different hats. Um, and so your financial durable power of attorney should be able to handle any type of uh, transactional asset, real estate, you know, all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Georgia recently came out with a statutory form that um, we're yeah, attorneys kind of at large are trying to figure out exactly how we can incorporate that and how mm -hmm. we can use it. But in theory, we should just be able to use that as a blanket power of attorney for uh, different things. And so we're hoping that that catches on, but so far it's very, it's in the infancy stages. Is it, uh, is it part of a statute written out that someone could just Google and, and, and so find? So from a healthcare standpoint, there is a statutory form for both Georgia and South Carolina. Uh, and so you may be able to Google and find one. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not the easiest thing to do, but you can. Um, mm -hmm. And so those, maybe, the, the Georgia new statutory form is not easy to find yet, but it is a statutory form. So in theory, once they post the new uh, legislation, we should be able to pull it offline pretty easily. Mm -hmm.